hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video we are going to deep clean uh, my microwave and also the cooker so this is how I'm, i usually do and i'll take you through the process so stay tuned until the end so that you can see what i use and you can also do that in your home and it's the good thing that i'm using essentials that you can get in your kitchen From separate sections, cause we could meet in the middle with no sense of direction. If it's sun up to sun down, we mess around. So guys, all you need is um, vinegar. I don't have the white vinegar, so I'm just using the apple cider. And also I will add in lemon. So I'm just putting, uh, I'm taking a glass, add in water, uh, add two tablespoons of vinegar, and then one um, piece of lemon. So you can also, if you don't have that you, and you have baking soda, you can now mix uh, baking soda with water. Also that one works. So I'm just going to do with these two ingredients that I have for so long I was living my life was so wrong always numb in my mind that old on building scars from the night so far gone I was blind so now so guys, this is my microwave. Um, it's Ramtons. Oh my god, it had to go inside. I have to remove that. So it's not that dirty though. You can see, it's not that dirty. This I don't know what I, to, I don't know what to burnt this space, but I'll try and see if it will come out. But it's not that dirty. But I like the cleaning it because you know when you don't it, there's a way it smells you guys so let me see if this part will come out first because i've really tried my, you know, i don't know first of all let us just put our water Not even change the cable. Oh, not even really set. So I'll just set it to three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Left. So just let it go on. I had set my timer for five minutes. You can do ten minutes, or depending on the dust that is in your microwave. So I'm done, and now we have to wipe it off. I'm using a paper towel. So I, I had forgotten to tell you if in your mixture you can add vanilla essence for a better smell because vinegar has some funny smell which maybe you won't like. You can add vanilla essence at least for a better smell. Next is the cooker. Uh, it has a little bit of uh, food particles. So I'm going in with baking soda and I'm using lemon. So you can cut a slice from your lemons and then uh, mix it with baking soda and then like rub it off on your cooker. So this, these are natural re remedies that you can use if you don't have the if you don't have the cleaners that are used for the cookers so this one really really works best for rust for anything that maybe something has refused to come out lemon and baking soda really works well Stars from 
you can wipe it off with a paper towel or a damp cloth if you are finished uh, now washing with the lemon you can see how clean it is do that even also on your uh, oven so i i lost the footage while i was doing the oven but i similarly just did what i'm doing right now So for these uh, small banners that I'm washing, they have a little bit of rust. So that's what I'm trying to rub off. As you can see, you can see how my lemon is really, really dirty. Um, so, it, but it's really coming out. When you do this, you will see. Make sure you rub it off uh, with baking soda it really really works you guys the rust comes out and then after that you can clean with clean water and then let them dry then put them back to, in your cooker guys you can see my cooker has really really turned out so well and clean sparkling clean so you guys if you have a stubborn stain make sure you use baking soda and lemon and it really does work for any stain uh, any rust that you have and also guys in my channel i have a membership you can as well join and help this channel grow in one way or another and if you haven't subscribed guys make sure you do share me out if you can until next time in my next video bye